ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Made in Japan. Today we are checking out Project Diva X HD on the PlayStation 4. This demo is provided by the Japanese PSN network with a release date of August 25th in Japan and the lucky us a release date of August 30th in the United States. Project Diva X, as its title suggests, is the tenth in a series of games fronted by the ever popular Vocaloid Hatsune Miku. If you don't know who the green haired leak lady is, let me lay it out for you. Born out of the Vocaloid program designed to provide a voice to lyrics and musical accompaniment, Hatsune Miku was created out of the Vocaloid 2 software and stole the hearts of people around the world. Being used for many, many original songs, at one point it essentially stated that she might have had, what, 22,000 singles released in one year? But that's just because of how simple it was for other people to use her voice. In this series of rhythm games very reminiscent of games like Space Channel 5 or Busta Groove, her and her Vocaloid pals have sung and danced in many East and West iterations of the game. There has been Project Diva games released for nearly every Sony console I can think of, and Sega has made a real series out of this. I know of at least two on Vita, one or two on PSP, I know there was at least one on the Xbox 360 as well. I mean, they, these, this series has spread itself quite thin. This particular chapter of the series, though, appears to simplify down with a quest mode that makes requests of scores that you have to um, meet to progress further into the story and unlock further content. Each of these songs and quests are separated out with visual novel style cutscenes with many of the characters that you'll meet along the way. It also includes a free play mode, which you can use to refine your button timing skills for every single one of the tracks that you have unlocked. I have to say, I do love me a good rhythm game. They provide a few fun minutes of focus and really depend on their soundtrack to keep you playing. I find myself leaving the rock band games or guitar hero games because of a dislike of the soundtrack and not really finding myself progressing in any way, shape, or form, and not really wanting to um, suffer the tracks I don't really enjoy. Of the tracks available in this demo, only one really tickles my fancy, although there is three available, so I'm, if, you, if you're a fan of Miku, you might find one of the ones that you actually recognize. The sugar sweet J-pop tone of the whole game doesn't really catch my attention, but the one track that I did enjoy made me want to play it a few times just to get better. And there's a benefit to doing so. By playing the tracks a number of times, I realized you can unlock different modules and costumes for your lead character. And until all of those would be exhausted, I'd repeat the songs over and over again because you want to have the full completionism. And if you're an achievement hunter, I'm sure it will take you a while to make sure to get every last ounce of gameplay out of this. The clues are not just aesthetics though, they also apply multipliers to the score and target gains. Uh, voltage essentially is what they call it in this. So you'll get a percentage increase of up to 20-25% that I found in just the one or two pieces I was applying to my costume. Each one of these will actually be based on the style or theme of the song. It's almost like um, an elemental effect that has to be applied. So each of the costumes will make a more appropriate fit for the song, mattering on its um, aesthetics, I suppose. But the particular thing is that these numbers can go pretty quickly, pretty high, because the first one, whenever you put on a costume, immediately takes you to 20%. Please remember folks, this game is getting an American release on August 30th, so there's no need to run to importers if you really want to get your Miku on. So um, you just gotta wait a few extra days. If you're really, really desperate, of course you can pick it up digitally from the JPN store. Uh, it's non to stop you from doing so, although I will say, as you can see, there is no English translation. Maybe there will be a thoughtful release on Hong Kong at the same time, but I'm not too sure about that right now. 
Well, that's all I have to share on this episode of Made in Japan, so thanks for watching, and please remember, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, the thumbs down button is right next to it. And if you have any thoughts on the theme on that is Miku, please do leave a comment below. So stay tuned to Pastiche of Skin, and I will see you all again very, very soon. So until the next episode, bye bye